Robert Griffin III. Robert Griffin III, even if he couldn't run, will be a success in the NFL because this guy can throw the football. First and 10. Play fake here, challenging the defenders to the right side. Here's a look at the offense. And this core group of wide receivers must find a way to get open today. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. Second down and nine. And a completion this time. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Go run it. Here's the handoff. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. That is a nice job by the running back there. He knew it was third and short, so he put that big old body up in there and grinds out the first down. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. RG3 has it under center. Staying on the ground. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. First down and 10. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Gains maybe five. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Play number six coming up on this drive. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Of course, a year ago, the Redskins went out. They got Robert Griffin. They had Alfred Morris. What a surprise. But they finally appear to have the coach that's ready to take the Redskins back to their old glory days in Mike Shanahan. Yeah, Jim, Mike Shanahan did a terrific job last year in Washington without question. First off, they had salary cap problems, so they couldn't go out and really sign some of the free agents they wanted. Two of their best defensive players were hurt and missed almost the whole year and somehow they found a way to win the NFC East and get into the playoffs. That was a terrific job. Well, Mike Shanahan had got him back to the playoffs, and it was in the playoffs where Robert Griffin re-injured that knee, leaving a lot of people questioning about what the Redskins were doing there. Yeah, everybody's a genius after the fact. I didn't hear anybody complaining when Robert Griffin III helped them get to the playoffs late in the year. I didn't hear him complaining when the uh, Washington Redskins were winning that playoff game against the Seattle Seahawks. So looking back, we always could be smarter. But I think the decisions he made, he made what he thought was best for Robert Griffin III and the football team. No room to complete that one. Well, that's a good job by my man. Really good effort. Gets outside the pocket. and But boy, once he gets outside the pocket, that's a terrible throw. Play after play after play here on this drive. It'll be a third and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Almost intercepted that time. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. The defense comes out in the nickel. Robert Griffin the third from the shotgun. Running away from the pressure. The Redskins turn the ball over on downs. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, they don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming. Your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. Reaches out and snatches it. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and 10. Brings it in. Second down coming up. Tight ends in motion here. Throws to the right. Makes the catch in open space. When you're a quarterback thrown against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. First and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. The Packers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. After getting sacked, it's now second and 18. Screen pass. Makes the grab. And he's 
brought to the ground. The Packers with a little uncertainty, so they take a timeout here before third down. Offense lines up here. Third down and 12. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That pass play picks up a first down. The pass was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim, they're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Makes the catch. In for the score. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Packers now ready to kick the football down the field. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squib kick. Offense lines up here. First and 10, Foster. Hey, up the middle. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. The tackle is made. The Redskins are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Third down on the way. Airing it out. Oh, almost caught. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. The give. Heading right. So that's going to do it for the first half. Packers are up here in this one. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Blunt, they run right. We've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. First and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. And here he goes. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Trying to find an open man. Oh my gosh, when you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? He'll fire it out to the left. Secures it with two hands. He's brought down. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Gain a win. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes.
get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Got a couple. Coming to the line at the three. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Final quarter underway now with this snap. And they sack the quarterback. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. That's just some bad play calling there at the end, Jim. It was a beautiful drive down. by the offense, but they should have paid it off with seven points. Bad calls, the offense can't overcome it, but the kicker comes through and at least gets some three points. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They face first down. Handoff up the middle. He's brought to a halt. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. Last play before the two-minute warning. Second down and four. Brings it into his body. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. He's looking to go down the field here. Right down Broadway. And a gain of 29. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? RG3 from the gun. Flag is out. <laughs> 